welcome back to our s4 hana st training next we're going to learn about the availability check availability availability check is also known as atp that means available to promise so if someone is saying availability check or atp they mean same thing so the topics we'll be learning in this video they are the meaning of availability check what are the different settings we need for availability check control of availability check transfer of requirements we'll also talk about the influence of complete and partial delivery setting that we can maintain in the business partner and also the difference between the data maintained in the business partner and cir record so let us first understand what is atp or available to promise or also known as availability check availability check is one of the important function in the sales order processing we need to know the available quantity of the ordered material before we can confirm a sales order availability check option is maintained in the material master record under the general plan data and under sales and this way we can maintain different scope of availability check for different products that means we can have one rule for one type of product and we can have a different availability check rule for a different type of product and that will see how we can set up this this one in the next customizing video there are various customizing setting that also influences the scope of the availability check availability check is checked on the material availability date like we already discussed in the previous video where we learned about the backward scheduling and the forward scheduling and in that scheduling we discussed about one of the five dates was material availability date so this availability check is always done on the material availability date not on the other dates like delivery date or trans transportation planning date etc so basically there are two factors that will determine the availability check within the sales order so one is your material master so what setting you have maintained in the material master so in material master under the sales general tab page we can maintain that what type of availability check we want to set up for a product code plus the customizing setting so these both will drive the sales order availability check now the customizing setting we'll learn in the next video for now i'll show you what we can maintain under the material master so here if i open one code mm02 if i just open this code and when you go to the sales general plan data here you can see availability check currently we have we got sr so there are different types if i open this one so this one called sr and then we got st consider only stock this is sp stock and planned re uh, not sure what is rec means and there's another one which is saying no atp check that means system will not be doing any atp check so this influences how the atp should be done so for example let me create a new order or i can probably show you existing order where we can where system when we create the order system is automatically doing the availability check in the background but we can manually do it as well so to to do it manually you can select the line and click on this little icon and here you can see system is proposing this as a new date but when you go to the scope of check this is if i click on scope of check this scope of check will determine how the system should look for the availability of a product so there are different settings here i'll talk about these settings in the customizing video later on but because this material is linked to sr here you can see this is sr so this material is linked to sr that is why you can see this setting if we selected if we have selected a different availability check in the material master code then you will sh you should have seen a different setting in this screen so this setting we'll talk in later on but here you can see the scope of the check so how the system is doing the replenishment and by chance if you have done selected the the first one which is no no atp check that means system will not be doing any check at all so we'll talk more about it in the later customizing video but here you can click the scope of check and check how the system is performing the availability check so 
customizing will learn soon in the next video and then the point to be noted is that the ATP check is done for the delivering plant that is there in the sales order item. So first step when you create, when you enter a sales order item product code after the customer or the BP, then system will determine the plant, the delivering plant automatically in the sales order. Now there's a rule for that we discussed in the previous video that first system will look for CIR record. If it's not there, then system will consider the business, business partner uh, default delivering plant if it's not there the last priority will be the material master code so first system has determined the the plant from the settings or the, from the master data of obviously we can change it whatever is determined automatically but whatever is there then system will be doing the avail an availability check for this delivering plant and accordingly system will be confirming a delivery date so that's the process basically now when system is is doing the availability check the control depends upon different inward and outward movements so when you talk about from the material management point of view during the availability check system will be considering how much stock we have at the moment in the warehouse if there is any upcoming goods received for the purchase order if there is any purchase requisition in the system created for the procurement of the same product or if there's any planned order in the system for the same product. So planned order is basically converted to a purchase requisition or planned order can also be converted to a production order depending on the settings. Now system will also consider the outward movements. For example, is there any existing sales requirement that there's a commitment already there or is there any reservation of the product there? So system will be considering all these inward and outward movements and then will give you a confirmed date now in the next video i'll talk more about different scenarios uh, where the inward and outward movement calculation will happen so we'll talk about different scenarios in the next video for now we just need to have basic understanding of how the system is doing the availability check while considering the inward and outward movements so once the system consider the confirm a date for the delivery then system will be when you save the order system will sending the requirement from ST module to the MM module and in the MD04 transaction you can see all the requirements so this MD04 transaction is basically a one of the most important transaction from the material planner point of view where they can see all the requirements upcoming requirements stock and all that and the mm people what they will do they will start the procurement so this the the product that you need in your sales order probably it can be a an external procurement that means that means the company is purchasing from a outside vendor or it can be in-house production so if it's in-house production system will be planning all the production orders in the system and all that and if it's external procurement then system will be or the uh, mm people will be raising the purchase requisition or the purchase order for the product so that's how the transfer requirement is processed before i go further let me show you quickly the md04 transaction where you can see all the requirement for example if i go to md04 for this code so here you can see for example i can see customer order there are, there are two customer order for this one and there are four delivery document pending so mm people whenever you create and save an order item system will be creating an entry in this md04 screen and mm people they can see this screen and they can see what how much stock we have 984 how much we need how, how much stock we we are shorted there's shortage and from here they can also double click on it and they can jump to the sales order screen for example i can go to the double click and display the, you can also jump to the sales order screen and see more detail i can go back same way this is a delivery requirement so i can i can double click on it and i can also jump on that delivery document so that's here that's a delivery document so that's the mdo4 screen for the mm people now the setting that we maintain the complete the complete 
and partial delivery setting in the business partner data plays a very very important function a role in the availability check i'll discuss more about it in the next video with some scenarios but here we just need some understanding that as we discussed before that we can maintain a complete delivery setting in the sales order that means if we mention that okay for this business partner we need complete delivery that means in sales order if there are three items or more items all of them will be delivered in one go so it doesn't matter if we got stock for one of them or two of them but unless we have the stock available for all of them then we all only create the or the system will be creating the delivery only for them if the complete delivery setup is made is is setting is maintained in the business partner and if the partial delivery setting is maintained then that's fine then that means we can send the goods whenever they're ready or whenever the stock is available so in that case for example first item uh, so, sorry in the same order we got three items 10 quantity 10 quantity and 20 in the first delivery we, we we can send four and two two quantity for the first and second code in the second delivery we can again send us two more codes and the third delivery we can send the third code uh, product so basically whenever the stock is available we can send them to the customer if the partial delivery is allowed is, is allowed now this setup that we maintain in the business partner that also the same setting can be maintained in the CIR record customer information record I'm talking about two setting only which is the partial delivery for the item and the maximum partial delivery allowed so this setting can be maintained in the business partner or can be maintained in the CI record as well but the complete delivery can all be only setting can only be maintained in the business partner so basically what I want to tell you here is that if a setting is maintained in both for example we maintain one type of setting in business partner but we have maintained a very different type of setting in the customer material information so this customer is also belong to the same business partner so the customer info record setting will take the priority so this will this setting CIR setting will override the setting coming from the business partner so let me quickly show you where this setup can be maintained so basically if I go to business partner need to go to the FLCU01 go to sales and distribution and for a sales area you can go to the shipping so here you can say that's the order combination let me go to the chain mode so this so this tech box here you can see this is the order combination that this is the order combination that means order can be combined that means different orders different sales order can be combined into one delivery document that's one setting now here I was talking about before the complete delivery if I check this one that means for the sales order only if there are three items four items ten items they want the complete delivery of all item in one go I can uncheck this that means whenever the stock is available we can send them and there's this setting these two setting the maximum partial delivery and partial delivery item this is available in the CIA record as well that means we can maintain here for example if we leave it blank that means partial delivery allowed and we can maintain like only complete delivery allowed etc different settings and if you allow partial delivery then here you can maintain that okay maximum four we are for the item level maximum four deliveries are allowed I can save it And similar screen you can see if I go to VD52 which is a customer info record so here you can see the similar setting where you can maintain that okay partial delivery at item level we can say okay only partial delivery only complete delivery allowed at, at item level or at item level partial delivery is also allowed so this is only for item level setup and here you can maintain for example I can say here five deliveries allowed so whatever setting maintained here this will take priority 
and this will overwrite the setup the 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 data copied from the business partner record now one point to be noted is as i discussed before that whenever you create the sales order whatever setting copied from any of the master data whether it's material master data or CIR record or the business partner data so all these default values can be changed manually in the sales order so if i save it for example let me show you quickly so when we create the order if i go to va01 order type or let me enter customer So like I, I enter drum 80 for example, we cancel that and order quantity is say 10, continue. So at item level or even at header level, so for example system copied the pay, payment terms here so you can change it manually whatever is copied. Same way whatever data is copied at item level if I double click on it, if I go to shipping. So for example, here you can see now it's saying maximum partial delivery hours allowed is five because coming from the CIR. So here I can change it manually to set two, for example, or I can remove it Excel. So this way, this, the default setting copied to the sales order can be changed manually. So that's all about this overview topic. In the next video, we'll talk in more details with some scenario and some customizing. So now we learned about the definition of the availability check, what are the settings we need to maintain the material master record, how we can control the availability check, trans what is the meaning of transfer requirements, the effects of complete and partial delivery setup, and the difference between the data that we maintain in the business partner and CIR record. That's all about this. Thank you very much.